In this video, I'm going to tell you if you can survive a bullet to the head. Stick around to the end of the video and find out. This video is number 2 in the series of can you survive situations where I prove to you that if you can survive a situation or not. Make sure to watch the first one if you haven't already. It is very possible to survive a gunshot wound, but there are a lot of variables at play to take into consideration. For example, what caliber round is being used? Is it a full metal jacket or a controlled expanding round? What angle of degree is the shot being fired at? And does it happen to hit the fatal T, otherwise known as the target right behind the eyes and the nose that will cause instant incapacitation and thus ensuring death of the victim. Gunshot wounds to the head are more difficult to predict. Our skull is a closed box that cradles the brain. There isn't a lot of room for the brain to move around in the skull. If a bullet enters the head and bounces around, the permanent cavity or known as bullet track may be large. But the, but the damage from the temporary cavity that forms is even worse. For some lucky people, if the bullet velocity is high and there is no wobble and it passes through non-critical parts of the brain, less damage occurs and survival is really possible. Okay, now, what do I mean by non-critical parts? Our brain has two hemispheres. If the bullet pass passes through both left and right hemisphere of the brain instead of being confined to one side, then the damage is likely to be much worse. If your brain was pierced by a bullet on only one side, then you have a better chance than someone who has suffered injury to the both sides. It's also a possible sign if the bullet misses the brain's critical parts such as the brain stem and the thalamus. These deep brain structures are crucial to consciousness and basic functions such as controlling breathing and heartbeat. And a person has a better chance of recovering if the bullet misses the major blood vessels that brings oxygen to the areas where it needed. A high velocity bullet does more damage than a low velocity bullet. High speed bullets such as those fired by an AK-47 or M16 do more peripheral damage to the overall brain and around their path as they pass through the pass through or wobble. Slower moving bullets such as bullets from handguns do less damage compared to them. Well, considering all the positive sides in your favor, yes, you can survive but the chance is only 10%. Yes, it's really less chance. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out all my other videos and let me know in the comment section below if you learned something new. And don't forget to watch the first video in this playlist. That is, can you survive a fall from a tall building? And I will see you in another can you video.